Hey, sports bettors, I'm Boyd. I'm with OddsJam. OddsJam.com is actually a betting tool that helps you find mathematical, profitable wagers consistently. And today we're talking about DraftKings and how to open up a DraftKings account, how to bet at DraftKings. And that's what we're going to do, sort of a fundamental ground zero basic startup point where we help you uh, get that account open, get it started, show you how to make some basic bets and some easy bets. And then I'll have a second video, sort of a follow-up or a part two that helps uh, maybe more of the advanced, sort of the alternative spreads, the alternative totals, a lot of the promos, many other things you can enjoy at your DraftKings Sportsbook. So let's get going. All right, guys, here we go. So first steps first, when you come to the website, when you come to DraftKings Sportsbook, you're going to notice that right here in the top kind of middle right of the page and when you hit this sign up it's going to take you to the next screen and have you fill out some things which i'll show you here in a second it's a little slow to download so i'm gonna actually hit pause and then come back when it pops up a couple of things here that uh, to be noted especially in the sign up process as you get connected and get started so we'll, as i mentioned it's really simple real easy and you'll sign up right here uh, one thing i do want to make sure is you get to phase two three no big deal pretty easy pretty simple but this confirmation location is something to keep in mind that you have to do in order to make sure the geo tracking for DraftKings work uh, works in your state and your area uh, basically it's regulated and so certain states are not regulated and um, if you're in a state that is not regulated it definitely will not allow you to wager so that's very important to know and if you have questions you can always email and let us know or leave the comments down below but as, as far as what state you're in and so we can help you with if the different states or different phases and times in their approval process with the registration and uh, that that type of thing. So that's something to kind of know as you first get started and get get going. So when you're ready to go, you're going to, of course, come to get logged in. Uh, the login process is pretty quick. The plug-in for the uh, verification process is very normal. And I'm doing this, you know, on purpose so you can understand what you may encounter and what you may see as far as checking in. So just note that it's uh, not uncommon and all part of the process occasionally. Sometimes it goes faster, sometimes it goes slower, but I have noticed it goes a little faster on your cell phone. Um, but again, sometimes people prefer to use their laptop so they can see the screen a little easier. But just know this is completely normal and part of it. So once you get logged in again, this is why we're here today to sort of explain how to bet and how to place a wager. They do have a tab at the bottom of the page here on the home page to talk to you about that and sort of the uh, topics that they cover here. And um, again, it's a little bit easier when you kind of do it firsthand, but my best recommendation is to take a little bit of time to tour the site, kind of get to know where you're going and what you're looking for. So that's uh, available at the bottom of the screen here on the home page. Um, it's, it's pretty general, so it's not a, not a lot you know the specific detail and that's why i'm going to walk you through um some of the basic simple easy wagers that you'll you'll probably want to use when you first get signed up so we'll, we'll get into that next so not to backtrack too much but obviously before you place any wagers you are going to want to go here to the deposit button and you can see here when you hit that button you're going to have several choices and different avenues of getting funds into your account and DraftKings certainly takes most all credit cards it's pretty simple to do it happens pretty much instantaneously you can actually connect your bank you can connect your debit card and we'll show you how that works here in one second but basically what you can do is put in the amount of funds that you want to start the account off with and uh, make sure you understand what you're putting in and kind of keep track of that but um, as you can see here it takes a little bit of time to download and then once it does we'll uh, open up those options so as you can see here we're at the uh, deposit page and you can select an, an amount you can actually put in other i think the minimum to double check on the minimum it kind of depends on the method that you might use but as you can see here you can connect credit card you can do online banking you can do some paypal and <clears throat> so a little bit of uh, variety of what you can do I'd say the most efficient typically is are these two that we've used in the past and then you can connect and get that deposit done it happens pretty instantly pretty quickly um, and then also you simply reverse the process when you want to take funds out uh, you'll, you'll get your account verified and then you can go to the cashier to uh, request a withdrawal so pretty simple pretty easy but that is certainly one of the steps you need before you get to bed Okay, so here you are. You're funded. Your account, uh, you've been enrolled. You're verified. You're geo tracked. You're ready to roll. And now you can start the process of wagering. So obviously at the top here, they're going to have some promos and some things you can take advantage of. Take a look at, um, over here to the right, they have your bet slip, which is basically your picks that will show up there as you put them in. And so we're going to do a quick little example here. If you wanted to say, come over here to the left to identify, uh, some of the more popular sports of, of wagering. I mean, my guy, you can get to the MMA, you can get into rugby, tennis, volleyball, et cetera, et cetera. So everything is here on the left-hand side. 
and then you're going to look up here to the top and kind of scroll to the side. Of course, there's a casino part you can go to. The marketplace is kind of interesting. I know they're getting into the NFTs and things like that. And also the Daily Fantasy, which is sort of how they first heard the sports book here. And you, you get you kind of go left to right, top to bottom pretty easy. You can track and trace your wagers here. Um, you can do live in-game betting. So once kickoff or once tip-off starts, you can go in there and play some wagers uh, throughout the course of the game. Got to be pretty quick on those. Uh, I guess maybe more of an advanced type thing. But um, again, you can uh, promos that they offer, lots and lots of promos. And uh, some of them are definitely mathematical, profitable, good, good things to do. Uh, again, just, just all the different choices you get into the different contests and games and things here that they have available. So you can connect with their social media, things like that. But for the sake of uh, simplicity, we're going to just go in here and take a look at, a, say, the NBA. Uh, and again, let's say you want to find an NBA game tonight that uh, happens to maybe be a side or a total, something pretty easy, whether you're about the over-under or maybe the point spread. Um, we'll show you how to do the money line, uh, things like that, just the, the three or four basic as you get your account started and opened up. So again, once this uh, loads up, we'll, uh, okay, here we go, open up the NBA page for today. And... We'll just kind of break it down so you can understand. Obviously, here you have your simple the game lines. Um, again, player props, any specials they have on any promos. Uh, game props, things like that. You can get into quarters, halves, um, different team wagers. I'll scroll here across the top, team futures. Um, so, again, more of a futures type area up here as far as bets you can put in for down the road. But let's say you wanted to do just a full game point spread. Okay, so let's say you scroll down here. and Let's say, gosh pick one right um hey let's go with the hometown nuggets I'll take the nuggets plus two and a half okay so you you tap on that that uh, opens the screen up to where you can enter your wager amount and basically you can um put in the amount you want to wager let's say you're going to put in 25 dollars okay and it'll open that up to where you can confirm Okay, you can place that bet. Once you have placed that bet, it's live. Let's say you change your mind, like, you know what, I'm going to pass on the nuggets. Go ahead and X out of that, and it cancels that wager. So once you confirm it, it's in. We'll tell you one of the positive things about uh, DraftKings is you have the ability to, uh, uh, up to a certain point, do a refund. So let's say something, you put your bet in in the morning, the lines change dramatically for the worst, or maybe there's an injury or something happens and something pops up. You do have the ability in many cases with DraftKings to do a refund. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty nice uh, feature, and it's very helpful. I've used it a couple of times as things change. So, uh, But again, these are the basic simple bets. <clears throat> you can. We're going to go into the advanced video that's coming up next to talk about alternative spreads, alternative totals, and, and these types of things. Um, maybe jump into the player props a little bit. But for the most part, if you just want to bet on the side, the total, or the money line, this is where you're going to do it. So let's hop over to the NFL real quick, show you how that would work. And again, the point spreads, uh, you have to cover that number, uh, meaning that team has to win by uh, more than that particular number. And uh, it seems sort of, um, I guess, apparent, but I know once you're getting started, sometimes it can get confusing for people to know. Uh, about the hook and the, and the half and <laughs> all those kind of things. So it's downloading the NFL odds. We'll come back when that pops up. And again, I wanted to cover that. I mentioned uh, now we have the NFL lines up. If you have, uh, say, four and a half uh, on this, uh, again, when you're doing the point spread, in order for you to, if you took Dallas, they'd have to win by five points or more. Uh, certainly if they win by four, that's not covering that extra four and a half. So that's the hook or that's the half. Uh, if you're taking Washington, if they lost by four, you'd still win that wager. So that's how you would read that, just like the total. Let's say, for example, in the Steelers-Vikings game, if you took the under uh, 44 and a half. If the final score was 44, landed on 44, let's say it was 31, let's say it was, uh, 31 13. Uh, that's under 44 and a half by that hook or by that half a point. So that extra half point can come in, uh, to play many, many times in the NFL with key numbers as far as, as far as that goes. So something to think about. Uh, also too, on the money line, let's say, for example, you took Minnesota in this case, they just have to win the game on the money line. So it's minus 170, which basically means if you bet $170, you'd win 100 back to scale that down if you bet $17 you'd win 10 now contrarily if you bet $100 on the underdog here with Pittsburgh at plus 150 if you bet $100 you'd win 150 you get your $100 back plus the 150 so it'd be a $250 total so um, again if you bet $10 you'd win 15 that's how you kind of scale that with these odds and with the beginner better as you uh, go through your choices and all your options here and again the advanced video goes through some alternative spreads 
alternative totals and other player props. We'll get into that next. So hopefully you found this very helpful, very interesting, sort of as a fundamental or a basic starting point. Uh, I know there's lots more to it, but hopefully this will get you to where you could open an account, get it funded, and place a wager pretty quickly, pretty easily at DraftKings. So as always, appreciate your listenership, followership, and uh, make sure you hit the uh, like and the share button down below. Leave us any questions you might have, and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much.